Hey everyone, it's Mastermind2368 here. So today, I'm going to show you how you can use cheats with your R4. Now, there's some cheats already built into your R4, or at least with mine there are. I'm going to show you how you can access those directly from your DS. Then we're going to show you how you can add cheats to your R4. So without further ado, let's just get into this. So if you just want to mess around with cheats in general, and you're not really sure what you want, this is probably what you're going to want to do first. Go over to your DS ROMs on your R4, go over to whatever game you want, and press Y. From here you should see a cheats menu, go to it by pressing X, and just go around, try to find the code that looks cool. So I'm going to go to miscellaneous codes, and drive backwards, CPU drives backwards, I guess everything drive backwards takes care of that. To confirm it, press X, and now let's try it out. And so as you can see, everyone's about to drive backwards, which I just find hilarious. I mean, it looks like we're going full speed. I've not really played this game in a bit, so I'm not really sure exactly how fast. I'm on 100cc right now, so that also might affect it. But <laughs> look at that. Isn't that funny? Now, I will say some of the cheats probably interfere with other cheats. For instance, I was trying to do a cheat where you were supposed to fly, but I couldn't get that to work. So just, you know, try cheats out, see what works, see what doesn't, and have fun with it. To add your own cheats, we're going to need to download a piece of software called R4CCE. Go to the first link in the description and download it. We'll need to enter a capture, and it'll take a second, but I'll download. Once it's downloaded, go over to the downloads folder and extract it to wherever you want. At this point, insert your R4's SD card into your computer and run the executable we just extracted. From here, press File, Open, and navigate to your R4's SD card. Once you're within your R4's SD card, go to the folder that's underscore RPG, go to Cheats, and find the file called UserCheat.dat. Press open. From within here, find whatever game you want to add a cheat to. Let's say I want to add a cheat to Pokemon Diamond, for example. Once you find whatever game you want, press the plus icon right next to it. Now right click over the game, and press Add Folder. Name your folder whatever you want. Video cheats. So let's just name it that for now. From within here, right click and press add code. Search up whatever code you want, and then once you find it, paste it into here. I put in a code for uncapped battle frame rate. This just makes the battles go by a lot faster. So we'll name it uncapped frame rate. You can put a comment if you want. Make sure you enable your code, and then if you have more than one code, go over to the folder. And disable one hot. One hot only allows there to be one of those codes below it used at a time. Once you've added all the codes you want, save it by pressing Ctrl S or going over to File, pressing Save. Just give it a second. Once it's saved, eject your SD card and we'll continue over on our DS. Just as we did before, navigate over to your DS ROMs and go over to whatever game you want. We added a cheat for Pokemon Diamond, so we're going to go over to there. Now just to make sure before we start the game, we're going to go check to see if we can find the code. So we're going to press Y, X, give it a second to load all the codes, and we'll go down to the very bottom. And uncapped frame rate is checked. We'll exit out and start the game. So I'm just going to try to find the wild Pokemon over here. And as you can tell already, it's going at twice the speed, which I just find to be so amazing. You know, the battles in this game for me tend to be a little slow, so with it doubling the speed, I find it to be a lot more enjoyable to play. So as I mentioned earlier, this could vary depending on what R4 you have. For my R4, when I tried putting cheats on it, I already had the user cheat.dat file, but you might need to download that. I have another video about setting up an R4 from like a year ago, it was a really bad video, but if you want to have the files for mine, go check that video out and just at least take the user.dat file. 
Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate any support, but you have no obligation to provide it. Hope you have a good day. Goodbye.